Wow. Just... Wow. Okay. So, there's patches, and then there's... This. This is one of the biggest updates I've ever seen to Elsword all at once. Not only have they added new costumes and ice burners, not only have they updated Erida Island, not only is there a special 4th Anniversary Battle Superstars event, not only have more than half of dungeons been revamped, but there's also Star Ranks, the addition of Party Kick, an event to get plus 11 stats on your items, a skill rebalance, and even an experience table revamp. Where do I even begin? Alright, alright. Bad news first. The skill revamp has done a lot of nerfing. I'm sorry, guys. But this was an anticipated nerf, at least. It's part of the master plan to prepare our bodies and minds for Lenox, the upcoming new town and corresponding dungeons, but definitely some characters got hit harder than others. Jobs like Reckless Fist and Code Battle Seraph received minimal tweaks, some of which were actually buffs instead of nerfs. Even my main deadly chaser, despite getting some pretty hard nerfing, got a buff in his hyperactive. But if you main a character like Diabolic Esper or Void Princess, get ready for Letdown. They were some of the hardest classes hit. Even Crimson Avenger, one of the admittedly most overpowered characters in the game, got a minimal nerf. You know, because we all know that skill balance actually just means arbitrary skill changes. And since it would take me 5 or 6 lifetimes to go over all these changes, I'd recommend you just read the update page yourself. It's linked in the description, so check it out. As I mentioned, dungeons have also been revamped. From Bethmeta Hamel, dungeons have been remodeled, retextured, and tweaked as part of the revamp. There are now cutscenes like at the start of Resium Outskirts, some mobs have been altered, and there's even some complete visual changes like on the Black Crow. Slightly less wonderful is the fact that bosses like Birth have been modified, perhaps in a not so awesome way. And of course, because of timing, this all messes up with a top 7 Elsword bosses video I'd started working on. So there's that. But the change that I am most excited about is the experience table revamp. Starting at level 21, the amount of EXP required to advance level has been drastically reduced by, and I quote, almost half. Hopefully this means that the almost 34 million experience required to attain level 70 will be closer to the just over 19 million required in Korea. So, among the dozens of changes, this is probably one of the most exciting patches in recent memory, if not, well, ever. I've only covered some of the basics that really intrigued me, so I can guarantee you I overlooked a lot of stuff. To compensate, the news post is linked in the description down below, so check it out and see what this gargantuan patch has in store for you. Happy L-sorting, everybody! Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.